So let's see how this thing performs. On 100% speed, oh, that's actually pretty close. I didn't see what happened at the end there, but we're close. So the car loops around and... Oh, that might actually make it. This level looks very complicated for only $20,000. Looks like A1 needs to have a stop here, but everyone goes over there. Not sure what the upper deck is for, but I'm sure we'll learn pretty quickly. I'm just kind of hoping I can be really lazy and use a lot of ropes on this one, because ropes are super easy. All this is so far is ropes. Oh, the boats come through right away. But... It actually holds up really nicely though, aside from the boats crashing through it that is, but you see what I mean? Then I'm thinking if we put our hydraulics up here, attach it over to here, it should make a big drawbridge that way, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Also need to move some of these ropes to the other side, otherwise they're going to work against me. Oh, I've got to actually like control these? I don't know how to do that. Can we just make it work? Nope. Looks like I'm going to actually have to put some effort into this one. Oh wait, that one's going for it. Well, it definitely gets a bridge out of the way. It's not really going to put it back, though, is it? And just for fun, I wanted to see if this was actually feasible. To put a bridge under the water that the boat would go over top of. I don't think that's going to work. Nope, not even close. So then, all I have to do really is figure out how to get both bridges out of the way of the boats. And that's easy enough with hydraulics. Making progress, trying to figure out how this works. So that one stops, boat goes by. This hydraulic activates. Not supposed to be like that, but you get the point. I think maybe by moving the anchor point on that, it will hold up a little bit sturdier. Nope. Not as much as I thought. Okay, I think I see the magic of this one now. When you start, you're supposed to have the one on the right up on top. Then once you hit the hydraulic button, this one goes down, the other one goes up. So since I have one arch complete, copy put it here and see if it actually holds up to a vehicle which i don't know about it is an arch arches are pretty strong so that actually held up nicely now we just gotta get them to one raise up one lower down now i just want to give this a little bit of a test it's not gonna work but i just want to see how it reacts so i know what my next step is right so far so good it lowers down halfway to where i need it then it headbutts the bridge and dives in. What about if I simply move the hydraulic over to here? That way it's pulling a lot further and it's going to pull this side inwards more. That might actually be kind of close. And I say kind of close because it's going to be kind of close. Hmm. Not really sure what wrong there, but I know a lot did. The problem I'm having now is getting the bridge to hold up in the middle. But I might actually kind of redesign at least half of the bridge, or part of it. Which looks something like that. I basically just extended the road to the left a little bit more. That way it'd be an easier jump for the... Well, it needs a bit of an adjustment, but you see what I'm getting at. I just realized this won't work anyways, because vehicle number one has to go to the blue flag. After much trial and error, I've decided to kind of simplify things. So what I'm working on right now looks kind of like this. Just a couple of ropes holding everything up, just a little itty bitty span. Nothing too crazy yet, well under budget. Just gotta kind of adjust our hydraulic system, but we're pretty close actually. I just need to find the balancing point for this. This is on maximum contraction, so I need to see how far it goes. If it doesn't go far enough, I need to do something else. Yep, we need to adjust hydraulics altogether. This should be enough. Alright, now we're getting it. I've just copy pasted that. It should work the same both sides. It's just a matter of figuring out the order of the hydraulics. And here's where I'm at now. Not really sure how this is going to play out, if at all. Might need to add a rope still, but we're going to kind of see how this goes. So that could get crossed there. Good. And hopefully both hydraulics activate the way they're supposed to. That one lowers down. That one's probably going to collapse. But you see, we're getting closer. That's pretty close. This is going to be pretty close to the answer. It's not going to be pretty, but it's... Never mind. Bit of a change of strategy here. Keep playing with things until something works. Yep. All right. I've gotten it super close now because I moved that so it hits right there. It gives more support further out. It just breaks right in the middle. But all we need is a few minor adjustments at this point. We got it. One last thing to try before I really start changing things again. I've just added this little cross support right here. Hopefully that force is transferred all the way there and balances against the wall. You get the idea. And uh, that's actually working. Okay, so then you go down, and then that guy should cross, and that should be it. Come on, please. Oh. Yeah, I think I see a bit of a problem with my plan now. Hmm. I think I just fixed the problem. I just had to change hydraulic settings around. Oh, that guy's going to scoot across. Nice and easy. That one's going to let the boat go by. Then it's going to cross with that one not doing anything. There we go. I finally did it. It was cool and creative, but there wasn't really a lot of freedom and opportunity in that one. So I've got to send this little green car over to this side, then back to this side for $15,000, the easiest thing in the world. This right away is where my mind went. Uh, I know this isn't exactly going to work, I just wanted to see if this would actually hold up. And it does really nicely, at least until the car drives into the bridge itself. Now the problem, it seems, is right about there. My initial thought is to lift these three pieces of road up, that way the car can pass, have the hydraulic lower them down, then the car turns around and drives up, but I think I have a cheaper idea overall. And 
that's going to look something like that. The car can cross, the hydraulics will lift it up, it'll drive right back across problem free, as long as the bridge actually holds up. Which somehow it actually did. I might have put the hydraulics the wrong way, but you see what I'm getting at. Now the car probably isn't going to make it to where it wants to go. And it might not be able to lift it quite enough. Oh, it kind of pulls it apart from the other side at the same time. This one needs a bit of thought. By simply moving the attach point of the hydraulic to over here, that might do it. I feel like it's about to rip itself apart again. Nope, but we're getting closer. This little steel addition makes the hydraulic a little bit higher from a little bit better of an angle. It puts me slightly over budget, but it might work. Bridge is on the way up and still won't do it. But we do get to witness a brutal car accident. My newer, smarter design. So far, the car scoots across, no problem. Now I just gotta worry about this little section. That should be easy. Going back to my previous design, here's what I realized. This span is long enough to reach. All you have to do is lift it up. The best way to do it without putting too much tension on the right side is connect two hydraulics together. That way they pull basically straight up. It doesn't put any stress on the bridge once they start pulling. So, it can lift up, no problem. Then the car can just drive right across. I need to remember that hydraulic trick. That's going to work really well. It's not super smooth for the car, but it works. Oh good, another complicated level. This time we have to control the hydraulics at different times and we get to use a hot air balloon, so that's fun. My original thought as per usual was just to go over the boats. We don't have enough roads to do that, so we've got to use hydraulics. Now the finished product on this will look something like this. Again, it works very star. We're working on it. But this car's gonna go up top, other one's gonna sit down below, gonna stop, bridges are gonna do their thing, boats are gonna pass, cars are gonna move on along. Might have gone a little bit far with that one. And you know what? I probably mistimed that hydraulic, but you see what I'm getting at. Right now, I want to make sure I get the ice cream truck right, because any little dip at all, and it's going to drop off like that every single time. I think it's going to need to be an absolutely flawless transition. Otherwise, it's going to break the bridge. Even then, it still might. Uh, that's closer. Is that going to work? Nope. The middle of my bridge isn't very happy with that. I gave that span just a little more reinforcement since it's hanging from the hot air balloon anyway, and that worked. Perfect. Now we just gotta worry about this side. And here's where we're at with that. Cars do their thing. We lift the bridge. It's not quite enough, but I think I have the answer for that. We just move my set of hydraulics out to here, and that should be enough lifting, hopefully, to clear the boat. Mmm, it pulls a little bit hard on the other side, but I don't know as I need to pull it quite so hard anyways. I also kind of just realized this span isn't going to be long enough. By the time the hydraulic pulls it upwards, it's not going to reach this side. So I need to redesign this whole thing. I'm going to try something admittedly pretty experimental with this, but sometimes you just got to try things to see what happens, and you get some ideas from that. That's not going to do it. This kind of gives me an idea, though. So what's going to happen is that green car is going to crash through my bridge. But what if it didn't crash through my bridge? Say we, I don't know, replace these with steel cables that are much stronger. Would the car still feel the need to crash through my bridge, or would the bridge hold up and the car can drive on to safety? We're about to find out. Will the driver of the green car die in a horrible way? Well, it might not have been that horrible. We're making progress, believe it or not. Uh, we're actually considerably closer than we were minutes ago. I see what I need to do now. I need to replace this vertical pillar with a steel beam. That way I can raise these hydraulics up so they can get this little bit of extra lift they want. This should be it. That one's going to lower itself back down. It's going to cross nicely. I really hope this part of the bridge holds up though. Oh, we did it. Wasn't sure that was going to hold up and we're even under budget. Wow, people managed to do that for like 13 and a quarter thousand dollars. A monster truck. This is going to be fun. Wood, steel, and rope. So what exactly am I supposed to do here? Oh, there's two of them. Interesting. They basically are supposed to just drive and I'm supposed to get them both up over there. Interesting. My first thought is something like this. Monster trucks like to jump, right? Uh, I see a small flaw in my plan. Nothing a few triangles won't fix. I've more or less got monster truck one to go where I needed to go. More or less, but you know, we'll get to that. Just built myself up to budget on my first little attempt. Here's what we got. Monster truck one makes it to where it's going. The other one doesn't, so we still need some work. All right, we're making progress. Now my bridge looks something like this. Truck number one gets to where it's going. Truck number two, not so much. But all I've got to do is reinforce this, and it should jump its way over like no problem. We're getting close now. I put a bunch of steel structure right in the center to kind of hold up the span of my bridge, and here's what we got. Truck number one makes it. Truck number two, cliffhanger. So close. Oh, actually, it's working its way in. Is that going to work? It would be great if you guys could just get along. A couple small reinforcements later, and we got ourselves, I think, a functional bridge. Truck number one makes it. Truck number two makes it. The whole thing collapses, but does that count? Yeah, that counts. Why did someone do this for twenty to $24,000 with, like, a working bridge? I'm curious about that. I kind of want to see if I can do this now. What I've come up with is that little design in the truck actually almost jumps it just on that. So I think that's part of the key here. So it turns out that just this little bit of steel propped against the bank like that is actually enough to get truck number one all the way across by itself. So then all I gotta do is get truck number whatever up to there. Attempt number one. 
Is it gonna work? Not even close. Attempt number two. Oh, that might work. Smack him in. Is that gonna work? That actually worked. Wow, I thought that was gonna take a lot of work to do that, but we were way under budget. The joint stress thing still isn't really working for me, but budget and material footprint is great. It's kind of a shame how much effort we put into that first bridge when all we had to do was make something like this and just throw the trucks at each other. Because that actually works. It breaks the bridge, but it works. And I'm pretty sure if I wanted to do it without breaking the bridge, all I'd have to do is connect it with steel right here. Maybe add a little more structure than that, but you see what I'm saying? It wouldn't be that hard to do. It might not look super pretty, but that actually held up aside from the ropes. That might be even better than the other one. It's a little more expensive for sure, but did that help the, uh... No, well, whatever. Moving on. Interesting. We got three different cars to go to three different locations. And they all kind of just drive. So I think we're going to have to maybe jump them. And what I'm thinking is going to look something like that. Fastest car makes it to the top. Medium car into the middle. Slow car tumbles to its doom. Attempt number one. Not so great. The bridge didn't hold up as well as I thought it might. Probably just need bigger triangles. Always need bigger triangles. Am I right? So far I'm right. Oh, well, car number one made it to car number two's spot. I didn't really realize that I even had ropes to work with, so I might just build the whole thing out of ropes. Swap some pieces out for steel, and still not quite there. Uh, I think I found a working version of my bridge. I'm a little bit over budget, but first things first, let's see if it works. The card has a backflip on, should get extra points for that, really. Knock $10,000 off the budget. Now, if this stupid thing can make it to where it's supposed to go, and are we good? Does that not count? It's pretty much there. I mean, if that one counts. That's actually super annoying because now I have to redesign basically my entire bridge. I just kind of wanted to get this slope right. So I went over a budget to do so, but now I know the slope I need to do. It's just a matter of not doing it with a million pieces of steel that are very expensive. While screwing around with things, I think I might have found the answer. Doing it this way means that the supercar can just jump its way right up top, no problem. The cop car slides right into there, and whatever this thing is will just fall down and tuck itself in there. This one was actually a lot harder than it looked, but that actually works. It doesn't it? Did we do it? That flag's not touch it. The car jump over it. Where does this first car go? Yeah, it jumps right over the flag. We still need a little adjustment. You want to see my remarkably clever solution to my problem? I just put a vertical piece of road right there. Guess what happens? The car comes up and changes things just enough that it works. I don't know how or why that works, but I'm keeping it. Now, as long as this little thing behaves, which it is, we're good. And we're pretty average on this one. But we're pretty average in general. Look how high up that star is. This is going to be fun. So we somehow need to go in a big loop. Am I understanding this correctly? Which should look something like this when it's all said and done. I'm just not really sure how to approach this one yet. So here's what I've got so far. Basically a car that can jump off a ramp into nowhere. But if I can make it do the loop, that won't actually be too bad. I would still consider this a prototype for obvious reasons but you know what the car makes it across a gap so i'll consider that a little bit of a success added some more structure we got plenty of budget left so we got lots to work with but that was the first time that we actually made the car go halfway around the loop i've added a single steel cable right here so let's see how this thing performs on 100 speed oh that's actually pretty close i didn't see what happened at the end there but we're close so the car loops around and oh that might actually make it that did it all I did was adjusted one little ramp. Our budget was good. Our stress thing was not, neither was our footprint. So we still need to make this hold together. So let's try and identify where this all goes wrong. So far, it's right there. All I did was add that and it changed that much of it. Again, following the little blue car that could. So it snaps right there and also up there and basically everywhere. We need more structure. Yep, I see it. Just added a few pieces of steel because I think that's going to be about what we need to make this thing mostly hold up. Does that count? I mean, it's still together. Car probably couldn't drive against it again, but you know. Also deleted a few pieces of unnecessary steel over there that have been sitting there forever. Oh, it breaks a little bit, but we're actually pretty close to where we need to be. I'm going to add maybe one steel cable right here. And if that doesn't do it, I'll add another one here. And that's going to get us even closer. Still only 60,000 of our budget used. You know what? I made the car do a loop for pretty cheap. I'm going to consider that a win. I really like the look of this level. So the monster truck's got to go all the way up top. The van just needs to go to A. So van does its thing. Hydraulics come in. Monster truck jumps. Got it. So first of all, let's get the van across. That's pretty straightforward. The van doesn't do anything exciting. Doesn't need too much of a bridge. The monster truck's going to come in and it's going to need a ramp to be able to drive up. If we had more budget, I'd consider doing a crazy like unfurling rope bridge, but I don't think we're going to actually have the money to be able to do that. My first half-assed idea, let's see how this one plays out. Van crosses, no problem, as to be expected, and the bridge isn't properly set up here. A few small adjustments later, we might have something closer to an actual functioning bridge. Uh, it still kind of pulls itself apart, but you see what I'm getting at. We're actually under budget. I basically just need to adjust the hydraulics 
to the point where they don't pull the bridge apart. So something probably about this area. Monster truck, how high can you jump? That's not even close. Made a small adjustment. I had to give it a bit of a lip to hopefully get the monster truck up there. Just got to figure out how to make the bridge a little stronger overall. Starting to think that maybe my rope design isn't the way of the future after all. Are you not going to go? Oh, there it is. Close. I think I'm finally getting pretty close to where I need to be. So far, the van goes across. No problem. It's just a matter of trying to make that stupid monster truck get all the way to the top because that's not easy to do. It's going to take a proper ramp alignment and one that actually holds together. I was getting pretty close, decided to try something entirely different. And believe it or not, this kind of might actually work because the van does that no problem. The truck, not so much, but you see it's close. Again, just screwing around, I found myself pretty close to the answer. The more screwing around I do, the better things get. So that lands there. I break the bridge with the hydraulic, but look how close the truck gets. All the way up to there. Touches it. Which kind of makes me wonder if I put a piece of steel there instead. Will that hold up enough? And will the monster truck grab that and keep on climbing? Moment of truth. Monster truck go. And nope, not quite. And it is breaks out anyway. So that might not need to be there. Which means it could probably do something like that. That way the monster truck can still get some traction there and jump. So that might work. I don't think the van's honestly going to climb this though. We'll see what happens. And oh, is it going to? Yeah, no. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're good there. That piece keeps breaking. That's fine. Monster truck, go. Oh, I think it's going to do it. Oh, just barely, but we did it. Uh, our budget wasn't great. We're not really doing anything remarkable. The really high score is about $9,000. That's considerably less than I did it for. 